What's up you guys, I'm Riker with Adrenaline Industries and today I wanted to talk about a few of my overland essentials. Right now we're sitting in one of our Adrenaline Industries campers wearing our BAE 6x6. Um, and this camper is a full-blown camper. We've got a fridge, we've got tons of solar, heating, AC, we've even got a TV. So pretty much anything you can imagine we've got in this truck. So oftentimes I'll be in this truck or one of our other Fords or Ram Overland trucks that we build. Um, for me, oftentimes what I'll be in is just my pickup truck. I've got a 2016 F-150 with my 23-0 rooftop tent. I think 23-0 makes incredible tents. Um, so that's what I use most of the time that I'm overlanding myself if I'm not in one of our big campers. So whether I'm in my F-150 or one of our big expedition trucks, I've got a handful of essentials that I'll have with me either way. My very first item is I have my Spyderco knife with me. This one right here is the Para 3. Um, I've had a handful of Spyderco knives as well as various other brands and everything. I'm a big fan of Spyderco. I think they make some of the best knives on the market and they've held up really well for what I need to use them for. Um, I love this one because I can carry it with me every single day, whether I am camping or I'm at church or I'm at work. Like I, This is lightweight enough that I can carry it with me all the time. So I love this one and I think it looks pretty rad. So that helps. Um, so yeah, no matter where I'm at, I can pretty much guarantee that I always have this knife on me because I can utilize it for anything, whether I'm cooking dinner, um, even though my wife would probably be mad at me if it's not very clean, or I'm opening boxes and pallets at the shop. I love my Spyderco knives. What was the last thing that you cut with your knife? Oh, like 20 minutes ago, I was actually opening some pallets. I had to take the top off of some of these pallets for our suspension we were putting on. <laughs> Item number two would be my Fairlife Protein. I am an absolute sucker for these. I swear half my paycheck goes to Fairlife. <laughs> um, I love these Fairlife for camping especially because I want to stay up on my fitness goals. I want to keep my protein intake regular every single day. Um, so being able to have my protein with me camping is, is, is really important to me. And rather than having to carry a big old thing of protein powder, these are a lot easier. For one, they taste amazing. I love the taste of them but then they're just super easy to carry with you. Like, I mean, they're small and then carrying a case like this um, is just super easy for overlanding. So that's something that I'll have with me anytime I go overlanding. Um, even if they get warm or something, or if your fridge goes out or whatever it is, um, I also love the Fairlife because even if they do get to room temperature, um, they're not gonna go bad and they'll still taste just fine. My third item that I'll have with me overlanding it's gonna be a little speaker. Um, this speaker's been dope actually. I've had it for like eight years and it's worked fantastic. I've left it out in the rain before. So this has been a surprisingly really great speaker and it's pl plenty loud for what I need camping. I usually don't want it blasting anyways if we're outside, but um, just for sitting around the campfire or something, I love having the tunes playing. So for me having a speaker there, being able just to listen to some country music or whatever you wanna do, I love having my speaker with me camping. Item number four is gonna be some steaks. I love a good steak, and especially when I'm camping. I don't know why, but it always seems to taste better when you're up in the mountains, or dude, even if you're camping on a beach or something, I don't care. Um, I always have my steaks with me. These guys kill it, Omaha Steaks. I, I'm not gonna go anywhere without some good food, right? So you can guarantee that I'll have some steaks with me overlanding. So finally, my fifth overland essential, we tried fitting it in here and it was dirty and it's making a mess and so we decided just to take it outside and we'll show you that outside. <laughs> so, my fifth item is gonna be a Talaria Sting. Um, if you, I mean, an e-bike is essentially the same thing. I just got lazy and decided I didn't like to pedal anymore. Um, but I love having this, again, whether it's on one of our big trucks or if I've got it on my rack that I put on my F-150. Um, I gotta have this with me because oftentimes I get stuck so I need a way to get out or go get cell service or whatever it is and I just like to play and explore and have fun while I'm camping while I'm overlanding um, and these are super great because they're quiet you're not bugging everyone you're not scaring wildlife and you're not tearing up trails and everything like that too so I always have this with me when I'm overlanding for a bunch of different reasons but biggest reason is because it's a lot of stinking fun so I love having it with me 
right now this has been my favorite bike on the market um, it's it's been everything that I've asked out of an electric bike uh, it's got a bigger battery than uh, the, I guess the previous models the top speed on it is I think around 52 53 miles an hour so plenty fast fast enough to hurt myself and the suspension on these has been great it's nice enough and smooth enough that I can go right on the road um, ride it to dinner or whatever I want to do but it's also gonna handle super well on the dirt so if I want to go rip some trails or something while I'm camping or just buzz around camp these kill it on the dirt um, and so they've just been a fantastic bike to keep around all right thanks for listening listening to me talk about my five overland essentials I think they're pretty great you might disagree you can let us know in the comments if you're like dude those are stupid <laughs> or if you think they're great if you like some fair license steaks dude let me know uh, but yeah be sure to subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching